a very good morning students this is a video on the scaphoid fracture the fracture of the scaphoid bone and the scaphoid bone is a carpal bone among all the eight carpal bones okay four arranged in proximal and the other four in distal row the scaphoid is the most commonly fractured bone carpal bone right now if you see the scaphoid bone this is an scaphoid bone which is a boat shaped structure this is the lunate bone in the proximal row of the carpals this is the triquetral bone and this is the sesamoid bone the pc form so these are the four bones carpal bones of proximal the other four bones in the distal row will be trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamate okay and this are the carpal bones if you will see the proximal row it will articulate with the distal end of the lower end of the radius which articulates with the scaphoid and lunate to form the wrist joint okay or the radio carpal joint okay radio carpal joint now this scaphoid bone which is a boat cell it has the two parts now this since it is close to the radius this is the proximal part i will write here proximal part of the scaphoid and this part which is towards the metacarpal is the distal part of the scaphoid and these two parts the proximal part and the distal part of the scaphoid they join to each other by a narrow vest it is called as a narrow vest of the scaphoid bone as i said that the scaphoid bone is most commonly fractured bone and this is fractured due to the fall mostly due to the fall on the out stretch hand when you are running and all of sudden when you fall you try to protect yourself by just okay spreading your arms upper and see the upper limb okay with the fingers in the out stretch hand and this touches the ground first okay and since the radius okay is articulating with the uh, uh, is the large part of the scaphoid bone the impact of the forces they travel from scaphoid to the radius okay and since this waist is a narrowest part of the scaphoid the fracture takes place mostly at the west of this bone okay so this is the side the west or the narrow part of the between the proximal and the distal part of the bone the west usually get fracture now this fracture of the scaphoid may be a complete fracture it may be a crack fracture and when some of the blood vessels they are ruptured because the blood vessels they are passing from the distal part of the scaphoid to that of the proximal part of the scaphoid because most of the proximal part of the scaphoid is involved in the formation of the articulation here i have drawn the wrist joint with that of the uh, part of the scaphoid here it will articulate with that of the trapezium and trapezoid okay only this is the part that is the distal part beyond the waist which has a, a non articular surface okay and this non articular surface of the distal part is close to the anatomical snub box rather the floor of the anatomical snub box where i am putting my finger is formed by the i mean to say the on the floor is the scaphoid bone okay and the radial artery just wind round for then it lies in the scaphoid fossa and so this anatomical is now is the box why it is lying this radial artery here in the anatomical is the box it gives branches not a one branch though i have drawn only one branch it must be giving many branches which are penetrating to the scaphoid bone okay distal part of the scaphoid bone and that's to from non articular surface okay and this arteries after entering the distal part of the scaphoid bone then they divide and these branches then they run towards the proximal part but while they are running they have to pass through the waist or the narrowest part 
between the proximal and the distal. So some of the vessels may get ruptured, some may remain okay during the incomplete fracture and then this fracture healed very slowly because the blood supply is interfered okay so the blood supply become very less okay hence the fusion between the proximal and distal part become um, say delayed okay it may take many weeks to get fused but when the fracture is complete where there is the whole complete vest get fractured due to the fall on the out stretch hand then there will be all the branches which are going from proximal part to the distal, I am saying from distal part to that of the proximal part through the vest, they all are destroyed, okay, they are ruptured, okay, then they are cut so that the blood supply of the proximal part which is, is the large part of the scaphoid bone articulating to form the radial, I am saying the wrist joint with the radius, it gets necros. What is the meaning of necrosis and what is avascular necrosis? Necrosis means the death of the tissue, that is the pathological death of the tissue due to the abnormity, okay? And here it is avascular, that means there is no blood supply now and because of the um, blood supply is not here, that means no nutrition and no oxygen is coming to the tissue of this part of the bone, proximal part. So the proximal part of the scaphoid gradually degenerates or it becomes dead, necrosed and then there is no way how it can heal because the blood supply okay, is cut off. Okay? So it is necrosis is because of the uh, uh, the blood supply is not there, that's why it is called as avascular necrosis. So this part of the, the scaphoid bone get necros and so the degenerative changes. If you take an x-ray soon after the fall, that is uh, within a day or two after the fall and if there is a complete fracture, it will not be difficult to see and locate the fracture in x-ray. But after two weeks, when you will take the fracture, it will be very well seen because this part of the proximal part of the scaphoid uh, will be seen as a degenerated or necrosed mass, okay? There will be necrosis, okay? Okay? There will be, and the, there will be the absorption of the bone, okay? Huh? And that's why it is very well diagnosed after some time when the tissue starts decaying, I um, so tissue start necrosing necrosed it become necros okay the, because it is a living tissue this part of the bone having the cells the matrix okay the collagen fibers are there all will die okay there will be necros and then in x-ray it will be what will happen if there is a complete fracture of the waist that it will be uh, because of this avascular necrosis and then there will be pain okay since it is in the scapular fossa Okay, I mean to say uh, this snub box here and then if you will try to ask the patient to do the abduction movement or the dorsiflexion that means uh, flexing it towards the dorsal surface, both the movements will produce maximum pain, okay, right. So the pain will be there and patient will complain of the pain, right. So this is called as the avascular necrosis of the scaphoid bone which is very common because the young people or the boys and girls of your age usually fall while playing onto the ground and at that time there is the fracture of the scaphoid tax place. I hope that you have understood this uh, uh, necrosis, uh, avascular necrosis because of the cutting in the blood supply and this is the scaphoid fracture, okay, scaphoid fracture. Thank you very much for watching this video and this is important video because mostly it is asked as a sarcoma that is avascular necrosis of the scaphoid because it is very common. Thanks.